Yo, what's going on YouTube, AJ? How y'all doing today? I'm back with another video, and this is the second to last video of the Mario Party 7 walkthrough. Yes, this game, we're nearly, we're about almost over, done with this game right here. We finished Party Cruise, <clears throat> we finished Solo Cruise, Deluxe Cruise, and we just finished Mini Game Cruise. If you guys haven't checked out the last episode, so a Mini Game Cruise where we finished off King of the River, you guys can go check that out. Now we're going to be showing off both the duty free shop and the control room. So first, let me show you all the control room. It's just pretty simple. Just, you know, adjust the controls, the audio, and stuff like that. Also, this music sounds so damn good too. Alright, so we have the adjust the mic settings. Now, you can either set it to use mic, no mic, or just use the controller. And since I'm playing with the controller, because I lost my my original mic for the GameCube, I used the controller. And, uh, so, yeah, that was it. And yeah, like I said, just press R to put the command in. Now, this is the whole rumble feature. You can either just have it off or on. You know, your choice. So, now, we all, this is the stereo audio right thing. So you can just have a simple with mono, stereo, or just full surround sound. I can't even, I can probably imagine how this game will sound with this huge surround sound. Like if you had a full surround system, it's gonna be loud as hell from what I can tell. So yeah, that. And then the mic test. This is only if you have the mic. Like if you actually have the mic instead of using the controller, and plus if you have it turned on, you could test the mics like, you know, the thing, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's just, you know, speaking to the mic to make sure it hears you, it works properly. Because usually with the mic, you press the green button, and you just speak into it. Now, I wouldn't be able to test this out because I don't have a mic. But, yeah. So, that was the control room, you know. Not really much, though, so. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to show off the duty-free shop. And of course it's playing Happy Memories. That's what the music is called, Happy Memories here. Because this game is Happy Memories. Alright, so there's a couple things you can check out. You can check out the cruise sound. You could look at the cruise mileage where you can get some stuff. The mini game packages. The travel diary. And you can check out the souvenirs. Now I will get to that one in another video. But right now we'll check out each one. First let's check out the cruise sounds. And we have the opening themes, which is, yeah, the typical Let's Go. Then we got the Adventure of Weights. And this usually plays when you're, when you're selecting your file, though. And this is played when you select Party Cruise, Minigame, Deluxe Cruise. This is what plays for them. And here's... Now, this is the one you choose to cruise, though. So, I'm not sure why this one's called Cruise Choices. If it plays, if it plays the simple... Actually, I think I, I, think I know why. But... And then the typical Mario Party 7 theme. Alright, so, next we got the board themes. This is Grand Canal, and also you can notice the name for these. The, each music track has a certain name that pretty much goes with it. Like this one is Grand Canal, Sail the Canals, pretty obvious. And I love this theme though. It, it really, Mar that's why I love Mario Party 7's music. The music is just so perfect. And amazing and all. Uh, next, this is Climb the Peak. This is from Pagoda Peak. And I dead love this one so much. Yeah, that's why Pagoda Peak's one is honestly my most favorite board. Love the music, everything. Alright, so this is Park It based off Pyramid Park. 
this one is a bop too. And Neon Nation, this is based off Neon Heights. Another pretty good one. This one goes so well with it. <clears throat> and y'all, it's Saturday night. It, this is so perfect to play right now. I would play some Neon Heights right now. Just like the old times. Now, Mill It Over, this is based off when Millville. And here's Bowser's Enchanted Inferno. Pretty evil and all. And then we got the whole party crew sound. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but just showing you guys them. If you guys wanna hear um, all these tracks, you guys can look up, look and check out the playlist. Not my playlist, but someone posted a 30 minute of each song, and you guys can go and listen to it. Oh, well, I'll, sh I'll let you guys listen to this one. This was played in the introduction video, if you guys haven't seen it. Oh man, and even hearing it now, not only does it remind me to when I first played this game after hooking the GameCube up and all, this gives such a huge ass nostalgia. Yep. And all uh, the other stuff here, like I said, you can check out the Mario Party 7's music playlist that was posted by someone, so... I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys are interested. And here's Solo Cruise, you know, it's typical music. Minigame crew sounds. sounds. So the free play sub plays with the free play sub. You know, all this right here. Minigame sounds. Oh, ready, set, fun. The minigame introduction music. I mean, instruction music, excuse me. <laughs> Instructions, okay? And all minigame sounds here. Crew sound collection. And here's the voice. For everybody. So there's Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Wario, Daisy, Waluigi, Toad, Boo, Toadette, Birdo, and Dry Bones. So that's, you know, every character's I got a star, they won, they lost, you know, all of that. And here's the voice mix. Got Bowser, a couple other people. Bowser, uh, Koopa Kid, Sad Koopa Kid, Toadsworth. Koopa Troopa, Shy Guy, Donkey Kong. Then we got the others that are seen in mini games: the Yukiki Monkey, the Spear Guy, the Goomba, uh, Flutter. Then we got Lakitu, Kamek, Toadie, and Pink Boo. And last but not least, the Womp, Thwomp, Babam, Chain, Chain Chomp, Mo Monty Mo, Hammer Bro, Bandit, Penguin, and then the announcer saying, "Go, finish, new record, tie." Perfect. Alright, so the next one I want to show you guys is the crew's mileage points. Now, with the mileage points you get, um, with the mileage points you get, you can buy some of this stuff here. Like, as you see, Birdo and Dry Bones, they're the only unlockable characters you can get for this game. Uh, I forgot how much it is, though. I think it was, I don't think it was 5,000. It was a certain, it's some amount, so... With the amount you pay, you can get Birdo and Dry Bones. So, Birdo, time for a new face to join this party. It's Birdo, what a nice bow. And Dry Bones, who's the same price as Birdo. New, play, new face to join the party. It's Dry Bones, shake them bones. I, I like that saying. And then, this is where you can also unlock the Brutal difficulty, which is higher than the Hard difficulty. This unlocks the Brutal difficult. Yeah, like I said, it's crazy. But... I played this game all my life and well since 2005 and I just know how to deal with brutal. I didn't play brutal opponents till literally like 2009 though. So between my knowledge I know about this game and how to play mini games, it's not much of a challenge though. Now this is also where you can unlock King of the River too. So once you start the game and go to mini game cruise, you can't play King of the River unless you buy it from there. Uh, yeah. 
Now the stunning background, this is something you get from Solo Cruise. Like if you guys noticed when I finished Solo Cruise, I had this background. You have a different background at first, but then when you get this from the Duty Free Shop, this is what it shows though. So you know, that's the nature just stunning. Alright, the staff records. This unlocks the minigame records for the development team. So this shows you your records from the minigames that you play. Like, you know, good record and all like that. Alright, the next page. These are the rare minigames. Ice moves and stick and spin. Now, if you guys haven't seen where I showed off the free play stuff, I showed off both these minigames. So you guys can go check that out too. So ice moves. One of the rare minigames. Pretty simple and fun and all. And stick and spin. I would say a never ending game. But also pretty fun too. Now the annoying mode. This is the taunt mode. This is something you would have to buy though. It's not going to be available at the start. This opens the annoying mode. You press L or R. Depending if you're playing. Well you play L. If you're playing solo. And then you press L and R to taunt with both the players. Now. I want to do a video on that but. That's a little extra. But yeah. This should be another video somewhere. And also to unlock, you can also unlock some music too. Like this is the map sounds. This is this unlocks the map sounds used in the solo cruise. So you can hear, you know, the boards, music, and all that. All right, the tour sounds. <laughs> Excuse me. This unlocks a sound from a wide variety of cruises. And character voices. You can hear the characters' voices. You know, they're a winner and all like that. Now on the third page is the secret page. So there's two mileage secrets and a couple secrets for some other stuff. Some of these, when I saw as a kid, I've no, I've noticed this. So, yeah. all right. So cruise mileage secret number one. Did you know if you play mini games outside of the boards, you get ten mileage points each time. So as what that means is that if you play on deluxe cruise mini games. In minigame cruises, minigames, you get 10 mileage points for each one you play. From party cruise and solo cruise, you get quite a lot of mileage points, but depending how much you play in those minigame and part and deluxe cruise, you get some good points. And cruise mileage secret number two. Did you know if you beat the CPU computer in the solo cruise, you get an extra 500 mileage points? If you guys have seen my solo cruise playthrough, uh, up to get up the walkthrough, you guys go check that out because I definitely did well in that one. It was also a, a pretty big challenge, too. All right, here's the aquarium secret. I did say this when I was showing off the game. Did you know something fun will happen if you say Goomba while playing Be My Chum? Now, I, I already spoiled it. If you say Goomba into the mic when you're playing Be My Chum, the one versus three mic mini game. The Goombas would just, you know, jump. That's it. Nothing really that interesting. And I wasn't able to show it off because you gotta use a mic. You can't use the controller, so that's a bummer. All right, the orb shop secret. This is something I've been new since I first uh, saw this back then. Did you know you'll pay less at orb shops when you go behind? See, that's actually true. Have you guys seen some of the orbs that are like 20, 15 coins and all? You get them for a cheaper price if you're in last place, which is pretty cool though. But then when you're in first or second, you don't really get much. Team Secret. Did you know when on a party cruise team, you might get a star in coin earning events? Now, you don't really see it much, because I didn't show a player party cruise, but you guys will be seeing that in the future. But there's chances you can get a star. And one is where he's a DK or probably a, in a duel. So this is actually something you really want to like, you know, keep your eye out on and focus on because you'll get lucky to get one or two stars. Now, souvenir secret. Did you know when viewing souvenirs, say the colored words into the mic. Surprise. All right, so we can still show this off because even if you don't have a mic to say surprise, you just hit the R button and it'll actually let them do the stuff. Alright, so the next few pages are the souvenirs. I'm going to show these off in another video, you know, what they do and all. Which will be, you know, the last video. 
So we got the Chi Chi Fountain from Grand Canal, Scratch Crisp, and Refreshing War all day long. Then we got the Book of Fortune Teller. I didn't even know it was a fortune teller. I just thought it was just simply a blueprint. So this is another Grand Canal souvenir. Uh, Grand Canal specialty. It tells your horoscope and it's never wrong. It's a hot seller. I can imagine if these guys sold in real life though. Because I totally would buy them. Grand Canal cookies. Grand Canal treat. Kids and adults alike love these tasty cookies and they're low carb. Let me judge on that to see how good it tastes. Alright, here's the Pagoda Peak souvenirs, the Gong Clock. <clears throat> a Pagoda Peak must. The Gong tolls hourly, sometimes not suitable as an alarm clock. I can I can even I can imagine how this would be as an alarm clock. This would wake the living hell out of me. Like I just jump off jump off the bed if I heard that thing. Uh, here's the, Koop, Koop, the Kung Fu Cooper t-shirt, which I really would like. A Pagoda Peak specialty, this t-shirt is officially licensed by Koopa... Uh, I don't know what that stands for. All rights reserved. If this was real, totally would get it. Alright, uh, got Sticky Buns. Awesome Pagoda Peak. These Sticky Buns are tasty. Koopa Corporate, I think it is. Cor Corporator, something like that. Can't keep them in stock. I bet they can. It's sticky ones. Sticky ones are good as hell. Seriously. All right, this is Pyramid Parks. The Pyramid Piggy, piggy Bank. It looks like an ordinary piggy bank, but thieves can't get near it. And you guys will know why once we show it off in the next video. The Ancient Jar. You can put anything in this sturdy jar, but check the contents first. Again. Once we show off the souvenirs in the next video, you guys will be pretty surprised about it. Alright, this is the dessert chocolate, a Pyramid Park favorite. The chocolate won't melt no matter how hot it is. Refreshing. Uh, and next, this is the Neon Heights souvenirs, the model rocket. A Neon Heights souvenir, a limited edition spaceship available at the Cape Mushroom Space Center. It's so creative how they came up with these though. Seriously, huge shout out to the developers when they made this game. Alright, the mis <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, the mysterious flying disc. It's the mysterious saucer seen flying above the city. Spooky. Now, if you guys have seen this in use, this thing actually shuffles the chests around and put them in different spots. If you guys haven't seen it, again, you guys can check out the Neon Heights part of the playthrough. The last is the top hat chocolate, which is pretty cool since the shape of it is literally a top hat. And Neon Heights favorite rich creamy chocolate in a top hat shaped box. Don't eat too much. <laughs> Alright, next we got is the windmill Ville, Ville souvenirs. This is the model windmill. Spin the windmill and enjoy a toy that's been popular for ages. Simple, just you know, a simple windmill toy. And then we got the fuzzy sheep, which is pretty, which is pretty cute though. I would get one. This stuffed animal is a world famous sheep. You'll love the wool. And then we got the windy cheese. This was something I really wanted to try. It's a rich cheese made from sheep's milk. A great horse de de wait, horse de raw, horse de raw. I don't know if I said that right, but oh well. And last, we got is the Bowser Enchanted Inferno souvenirs. Bowser's Crazy Torch, and a specialty, uh, a specialty of Bowser's Enchanted Inferno. It's Bowser Torch, watch out for the flame. Yeah, you step on that happening space, you get you lose ten coins. And then the Bowser's Killer Cannon. This cannon toy causes many injuries each year. <laughs> it's so funny reading this. Like it actually happened in real life though. And then there's the Bowser's Boiled Eggs. A, delic a delicacy from Bowser's Chance Inferno. There's sulfur, sulfur boiled eggs. Mmm, pungent. Yeah. Okay, now here's the full figures. Well, it's only one for each for the party. So here's the Shy Guy, the singing Shy Guy from Grand Canal. This fan fanciful Shy Guy likes to sing on his day off. Who knew? 
And here's the Kung Fu Koopa, the one who does, I would say, Taijutsu, like yoga. That's the one that's in between those dual spaces. This one of a kind figure recreates the Koopa Master's appre apprentice. A apprentice? I I'm so mad. I'm so ridiculous with these word pronunciations. Alright, here's the Desert Goomba from Paramount Park. This Goomba is always chilling thanks to his awesome headgear. So, yeah. You also notice for each board, there's two different Shy Guys, two different Koopa Troopas, and two different Goombas. Now, here's the top hat Shy Guy of Neon Heights. This dancing Shy Guy brings the excitement of mu musical theater to you. If there was a figure for that, I would totally get it. I don't care how much I pay. And here's the Koopa Shepherd Giant. Wait, sh Shepherdess? Shepherdess? I don't know. This is a Windmillville original. This adorable doll shows a Koopa wearing her traditional garb. And the you know, got last is the Steel Goomba. Straight from Battle of Inferno, this toy can withstand the hottest temperature. Of course it can. Now, this is the last one. This one is the souvenir you'll get for each cruise. So, this is the MSS Sea Star. This, a miniature of everyone's favorite dreamboat, the MSS Sea Star, sets sail for adventure. Now, from what I know, you would get this if you play all the boards in Party Cruise, or you play a certain amount. I think it's all boards, though. The next is the Free Play Sub, a model of the actual sub used to play your favorite mini games. So I think you get this if you complete every part of mini game rules, meaning you show the free play sub off, Volcano Peril, Waterfall Duel, Pearl Hunt, The Castle on Castle, and King of the River. So I think if you complete all that, you'll get this. And last is the Chop Chop Helicopter. A recreation of the high-tech uh, high helicopter that lands on the MSS Sea Star. So you see this in Deluxe Cruise when set flying to the uh, free to the free play sub, the free play um. Uh, I forgot what I completely forgot what it's called, but the thing where you play all the free, all the mini games, you don't practice and all, and the ice battle. So yeah, that was the mileage points. Now for the next two, this is the mini game, uh, the mini game packages. So this also shows you what mini games is for what difficulty. So you have all mini games, you have easy mini games, you have action mini games. You have hard mini games, and they have real mini games. So, if you go to easy, it'll show the only mini games that are really easy. For four player, for one versus three, two versus two, battle mini game. Okay, they say easy. Deck hands isn't considerably that easy. It's completely action and hard, I would say. And duel. Between these, the only one I'll say easiest is light speed. The others are partially for action and hard. And then they show action. I'm not gonna really. Sh I'll just show a little bit off. But I'm not gonna really gonna judge much. And this is the hard mini games. Oh, it's also showing the mic mini games too. Forgot to tell you that too. And there's the weird mini games. As considerable, most of these are pretty weird, but they're not that weird, though. Alright, so last one of these, I'm going to show you all the travel diary. So you can check out the party cruise records, minigame records, the castle on castle records, and the stack records. So for party cruise record, times played, 75. It was more than that, but 
This isn't my original Party 7 copy. This is the second one I got. Not though, because I lost the original. So in total of 75, you guys can see the most cool board I play on is Neon Heights, with Pagoda Peak being second. And to say, these two are my most favorites. Pagoda Peak's my favorite, and I love playing Neon Heights at night though. It's just, uh, it's just all fun and everything. So yeah. And to show off the mini game records, it's a lot though. So you can see the records for each one though. Yep, that, that's about it though. And the castle on castle, not much. You see Yoshi, who actually, I actually got over Waluigi, who I did off camera, way before I started this. But as you can see for these, 8,376. And Yoshi, 8,497. I wonder if I can get up to 10,000. That's something I might want to try to do. So you guys might see that in the video. And last but not least is the staff records, which shows you pretty much, you know, the same thing, everything. So yeah. But yeah, that's gonna be that's about deluxe cruise. I, I mean duty free shop, excuse me. That's about the duty free shop though. Next time I'll be showing you guys all the souvenirs here. So in the next video. We'll show you guys what each souvenir does, and it'll also be the last video for Mario Party 7. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this one. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and turn your post notification bell on. Stay tuned for the next video. Alright, I'll see you guys. Peace.